All right, boy, I got a guest on the phone with me I've talked to several times and been around a few times here, seen him perform before. Folks, I got the one and only T. Graham Brown on the phone with me. How are you doing this day? I'm doing good, Bill. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if my mom and daddy were listening to this because they... That's all they listen to is uh, y'all station. Well, that's good. That's the kind of listeners we need. I've heard rumors they listen a lot, and uh, uh, I, I think I think they kind of they live up there. They've been living the same place for years, haven't they? Yeah, they live at Route Four Commerce, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, when they when they when they got the radio on, it's tuned to y'all. Well, that's good. That's what we need. And uh, we'll, uh, let's just say hi to them right now, just in case they are listening. We'll say hi, Mom and Dad. Yeah, Royce and Jackie Brown. Royce and Jackie. We love oh, you. Okay, Royce and Jackie. I'm all right. I didn't know. I knew they listened, but I didn't know their name. I know they, uh, they've they been here for, been listening for a long time, Baron. Of course, uh, you, you, you were raised up in that area. I know that. Up there. Uh, yeah, well, uh, we've got a family farm there it's been we got this little farm that's been in our family i think seven generations something like that wow. a long time man that's great you know you don't that's that's one thing that doesn't happen as much today as it used to uh you got the family farms that, that seem to you know, a lot of them just gone by the wayside you know how that goes but it's good you still oh yeah man you know. it's a totally different world than it used hey, to be. ain't it the truth I, I was raised on a small farm up in North Alabama, around Fort Payne, up in that area, and uh, I was just down at I was just down in Fort Payne two two weekends ago. Really, go down there. Hey, that's great, yeah. man. Yeah, that's good folks down there. You know, they they run me off, so I guess they're doing all right now. But uh, I've, I've been <laughs> <laughs> I was raised there, just just above Fort Payne. Of course, Fort Payne's got that little group. You know, Alabama's been singing for a few years. Um. Uh, yeah, you know, Jeff Cook came out to that show the yeah, other day. Great, yeah. Yeah, yeah I've been knowing those Alabama boys a long time, yeah. too. They just good old boys, aren't they? Really, for the most part. They, yeah, oh, yeah, they're fine, man. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're, mm -hmm. they are good guys. Yeah. They've always been really nice to me. Yeah, they've been that. nice. I've talked to a lot of people that they've, they've really treated real well. Now, did you ever play the June Jam when it was going on? You know, I never did, but that was kind of... Early on, when I moved to Nashville, was when they were having that. So it had pretty much, uh, they'd pretty much quit having them by the time that I would have been oh, okay. having any records. Okay, I wasn't sure. I remember I went a few years. It was something else. But anyway, hey, speaking of speaking of uh, uh, shows and everything, you got a big show coming up this weekend up at Hiawassee at the Georgia Mountain Fairgrounds, and there's a fella going to be singing with you or singing on the show with you there. Uh, Jimmy Fortune. A lot of people know. A lot of people probably don't recognize the name in a way, but he was he was the voice of the Statler Brothers for a long time, wasn't he? Oh yeah, he, I think he was with the Statler Brothers for twenty five years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, long time. Um, mm -hmm. Long yeah. time, and he, you know, they put the Statler Brothers in the Country Music Hall of Fame a couple of years ago, and so Jimmy's in the. Country Music Hall of Fame. He's a good guy too. Mm -hmm. He's a godly guy, and he's so talented. And people, people just love him. I, we do a lot of shows together. Mm -hmm. Tell you, boy, it's. I don't want to follow Jimmy Fortune. He's, <laughs> he gets the crowd right in the oh, palm yeah, of his hand, yeah. man. It's, mm -hmm. He's a tough act to follow. Mm -hmm. I bet he is because he's got he got all. The, does he do a lot of the old Statler Brothers stuff? Oh, no, not really. I think he might do flowers on the wall, but, you know, well, I'll say this. That that's kind of wrong because he wrote uh, several of those yeah. uh, Statler Brothers hit, and he does them, so I guess in a way you could say yeah. he does some Statler Well, I got Brothers. you. I understand that. Of course, now, you've had one or two hits, haven't you? <clears throat> How many have you had, roughly? Well, golly, I don't know. <laughs> I think we've had about... I don't know. I think we've had about twenty-five or so mm -hmm. Billboard hits. Yeah, well, pretty good run, you know. Yeah. I'm, people ask me how it is these days, and I tell them, man, I'm having more fun now yeah. than I ever had mm -hmm. when I was out there chasing a hit. I'm mm -hmm. way more relaxed. The pressure's off. I'm sixty-two years old. I don't have to work as hard as I used mm -hmm. to, and it's. Uh, 
I'm in a good spot now. I'm in a good spot, yeah. Bill. Mm-hmm. I'm fixing to go out here in a minute and crank the lawnmower up. Oh, boy. I do a little trimming. Mm-hmm. I got to get the, the hedge clippers out and do some hedge clipping. Got to pull a few weeds, you know, mm-hmm. go out there and see if there's any tomatoes ripe. Oh, man. I, Stuff you, like that. You talk about ripe tomatoes. Now, you got my attention. There ain't nothing better than a yeah, good what? homegrown tomato. Now, oh man, I, I, we got them too. Yeah, I'm not asking you to, to to really, you know, endorse any mayonnaise, but I got to have Duke's mayonnaise with my tomato sandwiches. Duke's mayonnaise—that's <laughs> what's in my refrigerator right okay. now. Well, good. That sounds like a winner, and uh, you know, I think it, it was—it's—it's it's kind of a southern tradition, I guess. But uh, anyway, hey, you got—I uh, know you. Uh, uh, I've got all the hits, and we won't try to cover them all. But I always usually ask people this, and I guess this is a loaded question. It's a bad question to ask. But of all the songs you've done, what is your favorite? Well, I'll tell you, <laughs> man, it might not sound right, but I wrote a song that never was a big hit. Uh, it made the top 40, but it sure has helped a lot of people, and that's Wine in the Water. Oh, I get more um, comments on that funny. one song. Uh you know, people, people, a lot of people can relate to that. And a friend of mine was talking the other day and I about that song. And I said, that was kind of your personal testimony. You uh, I, I, my phone went crazy for a minute. Oh, okay. What were you saying? You, you were, I said, you more people. More comments on yeah. I said, I get more comments on that particular song right there. Turn the wine back in the, turn, turn the wine back in the water. Uh, T. Graham has got busy around what? here, but I'm going to let you go here in a minute because they just told me Jimmy Fortune was on the other line. <laughs> oh, good. Good, good. We're I wish I could do a three-way here, but I don't know how to do it around here. But uh, <laughs> Well, I'm t- ask, him, ask him about wine in the water because I, I got a new gospel album out, and he sang on it. He oh, sang okay, the okay. Guys, so. I'll bring that up. I'll tell him. I, yeah. I, and, and, uh, <laughs> but I'm going to do a quick interview with him, too. Hey, you know, you close by, you can right. come see us anytime you want to. And, hey, if I'm down there, I will. All right, buddy, give I me will. a call anytime. We'll, we'll do some more interviews, and uh, I'll be playing your music. I appreciate All it, right, Bill. Buddy. And tell Jimmy, I was, tell Jimmy I was really bragging on All him. All right, I will do that. Thank you, sir. I pre- T. Graham Brown, right. thank you so much. Oh, thanks for having me on the show, Bill. Oh, you're welcome. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs>